So they had their lamps lit. So when the bridegroom came, they all went in the house. Are y'all catching the story? They came in the house for the party. Five of them at the store when the bridegroom come. When they finally go get their art, they light their lamps, they come back to the house, and the groom said, I don't know y'all. They said, but we were standing there. No, anybody who came to this party should have been prepared to come. He says, get away from my door because I don't know you. Here's the problem. To be positioned correctly, but not prepared correctly, could make you miss the opportunity God opens for you to go to your next level in life. Uh, when I was a little boy, we went to Washington, D.C. with my mom and dad to go see President Ronald Reagan. And Ronald Reagan was the president at that time. And we flew, we drove up to Washington and we stood at the White House doors all day long. They said, the president is coming at 3. We got there at 8 o'clock. See, back then, you could jump over that fence. Now you can't even walk down the street. But I mean, it was just a little fence about that high. But you could look at the White House. So we stood there all day, hot, looking through the little gates, looking for the president. So eventually, three helicopters came. Two of them took off, and this one helicopter landed. We were sitting there looking. They were about to open the door of the helicopter. And about that time, on Pentagon Avenue, police sirens. Flew down behind us. You could hear these cars. Woof, woof, woof. We stand there at the gate. And we do like this. When we turn back around, we see a helicopter going back up in the sky. And the door of the White House closed. Stood there all day long. And what we stood there for, we missed because we got distracted. What keeps making you miss your blessing? What distraction keeps annoying you where you can't keep your eyes open on your opportunity? What are you looking at? that's behind you that's better than what's in front of you.